with, with me Fatin and also Zach here our special guest for today in this segment English for workplace uh, communication o o u m h 2203 okay Zach how are you I'm fine and hello again listeners welcome back to this one hour with me Zach Okay, so last uh, session we talk about making a presentation. We you can um, recap a uh, little bit about our uh, last session. Sure. Yeah, we did a, a session, a one-hour session on uh, making an effective presentation. Mm-hmm. And can you remember the four P's? This applies not only to um, making presentation, also for public speaking as well. Mm. So the can you remember what are the four P's? Plan. Yeah, we plan. We prepare. Prepare. We practice. Present. And we present. present. And I'm we sorry. Present. You see, listeners, the word P R E S E N T can pronounce can can be pronounced two ways. Mm-hmm. One is present. 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 If that is a noun, or and present. Present. Which is a verb. Mm-hmm. So we talk about the four P's. And in any in any presentation, there are four key. Uh, there are three basic three key elements. The presenter himself. The substance. What he's going to talk about, and also the ambience, mm. the environment in which he's, he's, he's going to present. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we talk about the four P's. Of the four, Fatih, which P do you think is the most important? Plan, prepare, practice, and present. Of prepare. the four, which is the most important? I think prepare. Prepare. There's a quotation. Mm. I think we we did mention the quotation. Mm. If we fail to plan, mm. we are planning to fail. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So although it's just a one-hour session, we need time to prepare to get the uh, most relevant and suitable content. Mm-hmm. That is to gather the appropriate information. Yeah. Only then you 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 you, you gather the information. Um, plan what tools you're going to, you are going to use. Mm-hmm. And you can start start preparing. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Zach. So for our session for today, what's the interesting topic for today? All right. So for today, listeners, you're going to be with me. Yeah, we're going to talk about assertive communication at the workplace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, assertive communication. Now, let me just ask you a, a, a question, yeah, listeners. Why is it that we can communicate? Why is it that we can relate to some people, whereas to to others, we just cannot just Communicate at all. We just cannot talk to to to, to that particular person. Is there any particular reason? Mm, maybe the 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 choice of the words. Uh, choice of the words is one thing, mm-hmm. but the most important thing here is listen. Is this the way we communicate, the way we talk, the way we respond, or our response to any conversation? Mm-hmm. So either we make the conversation or we. Break the conversation. Mm-hmm. So that is why today, listeners, I would like to share with you three different communication styles mm-hmm. that's happening in the workplace at the moment. Okay. Yeah, the one is passive, passive style, mm-hmm. aggressive style, mm-hmm. and thirdly, that is the assertive communication. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, why is it good for us to know about this three: passive, aggressive, and assertive? Why is it important for us to know? Mm. Because at the workplace, we work with so many people. Yes, and different, feel, different behavior, different people with different behavior, mm. different mm. character, mm-hmm. and this comes along with different communication style. Mm. And as a boss, as a leader, you get things done through other people. Yeah. So how do we make these people do the work for you voluntarily? Mm-hmm. They, they, they are happy to do it for you. Okay. So it is, it is it. It is in the way you communicate the the the, uh, the work assignment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So by knowing this these three types of communication styles, you learn how to adapt accordingly, mm-hmm. whether it's suitable or not to that particular person, mm-hmm. so that he will do mm-hmm. the work for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. T- let me just before that, lah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, let me test on your assertiveness. <laughs> okay. Uh, assertiveness. <laughs> Now, of all these three, Patel, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, which do you think it's it's uh, the most suitable way of communicating to people? Passive, aggressive, or assertive? In my opinion, assertive communication is the the best. Uh, Ideally, is yes. the best. Mm-hmm. Ideally, is the mm-hmm. best. Mm-hmm. But aggressive people, they can be assertive too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is they can be soft spoken too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're going to look at this four different types of communication style, listeners. But before that, let me test your assertiveness. I'm going to ask you a few questions. And you just say yes or no, yeah? 
Number one, you too, Fatih. Yeah? Okay. Now, first question. Can you express negative feelings about other people and their behaviors without using abusive language? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes or no? Number two. Are you able to exercise and express your strength? Well, some people, they are so humble. They don't like to, they call it, they don't like to blow their own trumpet. While others, hallelujah, this is my time. Yeah, my show. That, uh, is it easy? Do you feel comfortable talking about yourself? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thirdly, can you easily recognize and compliment other people's achievements? Mm -hmm. yeah. Some people, they do it very naturally. Yes. But there are some people, they suppress themselves. Do I say so? So I'm talking about other people, so why not? So I better shut up, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have the confidence to ask for what is rightfully yours? Mm -hmm. or, or are you a backbencher? Are you a follower rather than a leader? Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you accept criticism without being defensive? Do you always say, who says so? Do you say, where did you get that from? Or do you say, yeah, I agree with you from the bottom of my kidney, example. <laughs> yeah. Are you able to stand up for your rights? Uh, it shows a lot about our self-esteem. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's in the way we, we respond. Mm -hmm. It's in the way we communicate. The next three. Are you able to refuse unreasonable requests from friends, family or co-workers? Here you are so busy and they ask you out. Mm -hmm. They ask you to talk. Mm -hmm. Your phone rang and they ask to chit-chat. Mm -hmm. Are you able to say... What, what are you going to do? What is going to, what's, what's your response going to be? Mm -hmm. Can you comfortably stop and carry on a conversation with others? Some people, they talk and they talk and they talk. Mm -hmm. And they just don't know when to stop. Mm -hmm. Whereas some <laughs> prefer not to talk at all. Yes. Yeah, and some only spoke when spoken to. Mm -hmm. So, who are you mm -hmm. in the industry? And lastly, do you ask for assistance when you need it? Some people, because of the big ego, mm -hmm. they are the greatest. So by asking for help, it will affect, you know what I mean. <laughs> so they rather do it themselves, whether mm -hmm. it's right or wrong. But mm -hmm. some people do mm -hmm. it gladly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, if yes response, if you have a yes response to all this, in these questions, that means you, you your approach is assertive. Mm -hmm. Your approach is assertive. That means you know what to talk, when to talk, at the right time to the right place at the right time using the right words and the right approach mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so this is what we're going to learn today um, listeners and um, we're going to look more about at assertive communication mm -hmm. how do we go about being assertive mm -hmm. yeah and and what are the, the styles of mm -hmm. the other two that we can avoid mm -hmm. and relate accordingly mm -hmm. be, okay Zay. be right back with you listeners okay stop here for a while let's take a listen to this song Radio OUM Romeo and Cross Your Mar. Welcome with me and uh, Zach here on iRadio OUM Romeo and Cross Your Mar. And our topic today is about assertive communication at the workplace. Yes. And uh, Zach, yeah. uh, just now you mentioned about the three types of communication assertive communication, passive communication, and also um, aggressive. aggressive. So That's maybe right. you can uh, uh, continue yeah. our segment with okay. the three types of con communication. Yeah. Listeners, it's very important for us to know. Uh, the reason why we communicate in the office. Now, what do we communicate back in the office? What do we talk about? We talk about policies, yeah? Mm -hmm. Talk about your, your job functions. Rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. You talk to your customers, you talk mm -hmm. to your boss, you talk to your peers, you discuss things. Mm -hmm. All these are communication. You get information. Yeah. You get information also. But mm -hmm. with assertive communication, you get things done. Mm -hmm. You get things done and people will feel comfortable talking to you if you select the right kind of uh, communication style. Mm -hmm. Now, I've mentioned earlier that there are three. Mm -hmm. But let's take a look at each of these three communication. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what these three uh, uh, communication styles do, right? Mm -hmm. what they do not do, and lastly, what, what are some of the common words and phrases that they tend to use? Mm -hmm. Let's start off with passive first, yeah? uh, Passive. Now, passive communication style here, it's a loose wind. So when I talk, anything for a quiet life. If I want to get things done, I make sure that the other person win. It's a loose win situation, mm -hmm. yeah? And people with, with passive communication style, they hope to get what they want. 
they're not sure but they hope to get what they want and they, are, they, they normally sit on their feelings. Sit on their feelings means, and this is an idiom, yeah? sit on their feelings means they are not open. They wallow. If they're sad, they're sad. Mm-hmm. Right? They mm-hmm. sit in their feelings. And they rely on others to know intuitively what we want, what they want. So they expect others to understand them. So they're not being very, very honest with, with, with themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah? That, those are the things that, that, that they do. They normally speak softly and hesitantly. Hesitantly. And they normally avoid eye contact. Mm-hmm. People with passive communication styles, they avoid eye contact. And they allow other people in their personal space. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, okay. It's it's more like uh, they do not have this self, self-belief that can get, get things done. That is what they do. What they do not do is ask for what they want. Mm-hmm. They were normally a bit behind the bush, you know, because they expect other people to know, mm-hmm. to know, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they ex- they express, um, and and they 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 are not able to say no honestly. Mm-hmm. They are so afraid of saying no. This is a yes man, yeah. Yes, man. Yes. Anything bossy? Yes, 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 boss. I can do. Yes, boss. I can do. But behind, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, Why, no, no, yeah? no, no. <laughs> yeah, they do not have self-esteem mm-hmm. and they do not express themselves well mm-hmm. so that that is what they do not do mm-hmm. right and some of the common words they they, they they don't maintain eye contact their self-esteem is low they sit on their on their feelings and they use fillers you know like uh, um, uh, you know a, a, lot, a lot of long pauses mm-hmm. and their intonation yeah intonation is very uh, not very loud not very stable either very pathetic sympathetic kind of tone mm-hmm. yeah and some of the words common words that they tend to use listeners are perhaps or maybe or maybe uh, it should be okay or I think so or mm-hmm. something like that mm-hmm. oh we could try and see we could try and see mm-hmm. whether it, wor- it worked or not mm-hmm. I think I can la. I, think I did so I think yeah mm-hmm. and no la, I'm sorry Mm-hmm. I don't think I can do it. Ah, that one can. <laughs> they don't. They say no upfront. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and ask them for their opinion. And they, if they're not in favor, they will say, uh, "Up to them now what they think." Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. You can't get any decision from them. Mm-hmm. So this is a passive communication style. Mm-hmm. Now, listeners, can you get things done if you were to adopt this kind of of style? Mm-hmm. People will bully you. Mm-hmm. People will have no respect for you. And you will not be heard. Mm-hmm. You will not be heard at all. Mm-hmm. And in meetings, do you think they ask you for your opinion? Mm-hmm. They don't. Yeah. Well, uh, whereas this kind of communication style is very suitable if you want to nurture somebody. Mm-hmm. If somebody were to ask you for your advice, mm-hmm. then you can say, mm-hmm. maybe that one work. Maybe you can try. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. There's nothing wrong in being passive. It has yep. its good points as well. Mm-hmm. People feel comfortable talking with you, mm-hmm. especially the aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And can you imagine passive talking to passive? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they can talk until the cows come Boring. home. Boring. <laughs> Boring. But they have lots to talk about. Because same, 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 same species, same species, no? same species. So that is the passive. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is the the passive communication style. Mm-hmm. Now the direct opposite here, listeners, is the aggressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the the aggressive. Let me see. Now the aggressive. What they do is, if passive is loan be situation, aggressive is win. They make sure they win. <laughs> Even if they, if they know they are losing, mm-hmm. they still want to, to win. win. <laughs> so it's a win-lose situation. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, 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 someone with aggressive communication style, they try to get what they want mm-hmm. in any way they can so that it works. Mm-hmm. Right? So mm-hmm. if they want you to do it for you, they will do any kind of means to get you to do it for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And normally the way they communicate, they, they, they will cause bad feelings because they're very loud, mm-hmm. they're very blunt, they don't care too much about how you feel and very open. In fact, overly open with what they want to say. Yeah? They say, not insurance, your mouth is not insurance. <laughs> okay? And um, the way they talk, they're very intimidating, mm-hmm. they, they, they threaten, mm-hmm. they manipulate, they, they dominate and they like to use sarcasm. Mm-hmm. They like to use sarcasm, huh? And um, what they do often, often is they raise their voice when they lose control. Mm-hmm. Ah, they, they, they will, 
you will raise your voice, yeah? And uh, they like to stare people down. If passive, avoid eye contact. Mm -hmm. Wow, aggressive people, if they have nice eyes, wow. People will enjoy looking at their eyes rather than what what they say or, 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 or how they look, yeah? Mm -hmm. And um, and they may evade people's personal space. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They want to go, they just pass you through. Mm -hmm. that it, it, it's so different from, from passive, passive, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, that is the um, aggressive. That is what they do. Mm -hmm. What they do not do, listeners here, they do not respect that other people have rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Whereas passive will think the whole world of the other person is their right. Mm -hmm. That they violate their own rights as well. Mm -hmm. But aggressive people, they do not respect other other people's other rights. rights. And they do not consider compromise. Mm -hmm. Compromise here is a verb. Compromise here is, okay, there's no decision. Let's agree on something that you're happy and happy. Mm -hmm. They do not consider because they think they're always right all the time mm -hmm. and they go all out to make sure that they're right mm -hmm. and what they do not do aggressive communication style is they do not listen well okay they, they do listen but they practice selective listening mm -hmm. selective listening, listening. Yeah? so that is aggressive now the common words that they tend to use here you should you should listen to me. You should finish my job. You should do my way, not my way, not your way or the doorway. You know? And words, I just don't care how you feel. I'm the boss, you should listen to me. Yeah? That's just too bad. That's the way I, I, it, it has to be done. That's not my problem. My problem is to give you the work. <laughs> your problem is to get it done. Mm -hmm. How you do it is entirely up to you, up to you but I want to get it done. Mm -hmm. Just do it or else I'll give it to someone else. Just do it or else appraisal coming at the end of the year. They threaten, yeah? They, they threaten. Or no means no, no two way about it. Black means black cannot turn grey. Red means red cannot turn pink as well. So this is what the aggressive people do, what mm -hmm. they do not do, mm -hmm. and also the words they tend to do. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think people will feel comfortable talking to, to aggressive people here? No. They don't. They don't feel comfortable at all. Why? Mm -hmm. Fear that that they will be uh, they will get angry, mm -hmm. for fear that they will be belittled, yeah. and for fear of, of you know of, of being um, intimidated at the end. Yeah. So. On the, on the flip side, there are some good points about aggressive mm -hmm. when you want to instill discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline. Mm -hmm. You cannot say, you have to do it, no, no, if not, no, you will get an, uh, uh, you know, uh, not an outstanding for your appraiser. Mm -hmm. No, you need, for a discipline is concerned, you need to use the aggressive style. Mm -hmm. But then, aggressiveness, it has a certain level. Yeah. You can use aggression. Uh, using soft spoken tone, mm -hmm. using the right tone as well, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the choice of words mm -hmm. and, and must be suitable and not so very domineering or intimidating. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that is the passive, that is aggressive. When we come back, we're going to talk about the ideal communication style that get things done for you and this is what most bosses to, to, should try to develop, the assertive communication style. Be right back with me, Zach. Okay, stay tuned with me on iVideo OEM, looking across your mind. Thank you for choosing iRadio OUM as your favorite internet radio station. Now you are with me, Patin and Zach. Okay, okay Zach, yes. now, uh, just now we sh uh, you share about the passive and also the aggressive, aggressive communication, communication style. Now yeah. let's continue our segment with the assertive, the assertive communication. The ideal, yeah? So listeners, you've seen the, the two extreme and, and the less extreme. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, now assertive communication style, it's, it's where, now if, if passive is loose wind, mm -hmm. It's aggressive. If aggressive win, is win lose. lose. What about assertive? Win win situation. Win win situation. <laughs> they make sure that they they are honest with themselves and mm -hmm. at the same time they value the, the other person as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's give a scenario. Let's have a scenario, yeah? If I were to say, yeah, uh, uh, Fatin, you wanna take a lift home from me in the evening. We stay in the same residential area. You want to take uh, a lift from home from me. So you just say, yeah, I'm going to uh, respond and you identify the three types of response. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
You just say, Zach, can I take a lift home from you? Zach, can I take a lift from you? Oh, you think I taxi, ya, Katin? Aggressive communication. Yeah, you think I taxi? <laughs> you pay me, lah, if you have to take me. You go take taxi on your own. Why why take a lift from me? That's aggressive. Mm-hmm. It's a bit too blunt. It may hurt the other person's feelings as well. How about the passive? Okay, you okay. ask me again? Uh, Zach, can I... Uh, oh... Take a leaf home from you. Uh, take a leaf from you. From you. Yeah. I do not maintain eye contact. I don't look at you with the eye. I avoid eye contact. I say, oh gosh, I'm not going home straight today. But since you're my friend and this is the first time you're asking me, come lah, I take you lah. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Okay. You're not being honest. They, mm-hmm. they, they're just so afraid to say no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Assertive. Ask me again. Okay. Can I take a leaf from you, Zach? Oh, that would be nice But I'm not going home straight today, Fatin Would it help if I just drop you off at the uh, LRT station? Mm-hmm. Uh. Would that help? I cannot I say I cannot mm-hmm. But I don't just leave you that then mm-hmm. I'll give you alternative okay. So in the working scenario Does that happen, listeners? Mm-hmm. Yes It does happen mm-hmm. Yeah, Some people, they're so blunt mm-hmm. Putting the other person very embarrassed mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is what we like you to do To practice practice assertive communication mm-hmm. Where it's a win-win mm-hmm. you, don't, you don't get offended mm-hmm. You don't feel embarrassed mm-hmm. And hey, I feel bad that I cannot help you Bad mm-hmm. I'm here mm-hmm. to also give you alternative to help you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's look at the word assertive. What does assertive means, listeners? By definition, it means an honest, direct, appropriate expression of one's feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. You see, there's some very good usage of of adjective here. An honest, direct, and appropriate expression of one's feelings. Thoughts and beliefs Right? How do you communicate it? And let's take a look at What assertive people Or, or the assertive communication behavior and style Now an assertive person Asserts his, his or her own rights In a positive, open, honest And a self-confident manner Yeah? They, when they ask questions They ask directly They ask confidently and um, also openly for what they want. There's no hidden, hidden agenda. Very clear communication. And if passive sit on the feelings, aggressive cause bad feelings in others, mm-hmm. but assertive communication style, they respect others. Yeah, they respect others. And when they talk, they uh, unlike aggressive, they cause bad feelings. Yeah? And whereas assertive people, they show a lot of respect. And when they speak, they speak calmly, they speak confidently. And um, they, they notify other people's feelings with statements like, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think. Mm-hmm. It's, not so, it's not so domineering as, as the, as the uh, aggressive, I, I don't guess. care, mm-hmm. or I. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And uh, they maintain eye contact. When they talk, they have very good posture mm-hmm. and poise. Mm-hmm. And they are in control. Mm-hmm. And people will feel comfortable with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Although too much of being assertive can, can be a bore. Mm-hmm. Because po- very professor-like. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, so we know when, when to adjust mm-hmm. and to adapt ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what assertive communication style or behavior do not do, they do not violate other people's rights. This is very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And, and uh, uh, what right have we got to say that the other, the other person is wrong? Mm-hmm. So if, if you feel that you have the right, the other person has the right, so that's one word called compromise. Mm-hmm. So a certain people does not violate other people's right. Mm-hmm. They expect others to know what they want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that means their, their communication is very open in that sense. Mm-hmm. And um, they normally freeze up with anxiety. They get excited but they don't they cover it too well. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, aggressive people they use words like, I don't care, you know, just do it, no means. Whereas uh, a, a passive will say, I think so, no, I'm sorry. Assertive people, they use very firm, very confident, very respected words. That means they think before they talk. Mm-hmm. And that's very important, listeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Before you respond, you sit and think, what is the best word to use? What is the best emotional, it's not outburst, emotional condition that we communicate it through our voice? Yeah. So, assertive people use words like, uh, well, I believe, not I believe I can fly. Mm-hmm. It's, I believe that can be done. Let's let's do it together. Or I or I'm sure that that this can be done. Never mind. I'm I'm always here to help you. Yeah. And if they don't know, 
they'll say, let me find out. They don't say, I don't know. Or I don't care. Although I don't know, but they still say, I will try and find out. See, that's good. Some very good proactiveness shown shown in them. Mm -hmm. They don't um, belittle their own capability, mm -hmm. right? And they they always use we will. I, I can do that now. They don't procrastinate. Not a sort loser. Mm -hmm. They don't procrastinate. Mm -hmm. And if they're busy, they they are, they say I'm a bit busy today, so I have to take a rain check. Mm -hmm. Let's do it tomorrow. I'm a bit busy today. Mm -hmm. See, the words that you use, couple with the right intonation, yes. people will understand. Yes. People will understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we come back, we're going to look at some tips on assertiveness. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? And we're going to do some exercises. Exercises, mm -hmm. real life office scenario, mm -hmm. and how do you use assertive communication in that scenario? Be, be right back with me. Okay, stop here for a while. I really owe you. I'm roaming across your mom. Welcome back with me, Zach. And uh, in this uh, segment, English for Workplace Communication. And uh, Zach, just now you are sharing with me about the assertive communication. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, the type of uh, the people say honestly, directly, and also think before they talk. They talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a, a very good thing to do, your listeners. Mm -hmm. So after this, I hope, before you, you respond, before you communicate, it's good for you to think first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think about. Uh, of course, you have to use got the grammar right. Yeah. But think about your communication style. Should mm -hmm. you have appear very old or overbearing? That is the aggressive. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sound very, very uh, passive in that sense, where mm -hmm. people where you will not be heard, mm -hmm. or are you you going to communicate in a manner where when you talk, everybody put down everything and just listen to what you have to say? Mm -hmm. And uh, do you want people to respect you? Yeah. So one way to, to, to be respected is in the way you communicate. Mm -hmm. If you want respect, respect is earned, mm -hmm. not demanded. Okay, mm -hmm. let's come back to, the, to this topic. I'm going to share with you tips on assertiveness. What you can do to sound more effective. Yeah. All right. The first one is um, you you must understand here. Yeah. Um, when you when you talk, you convey an assertive attitude. So, what is it it can do to convey an assertive attitude? Number one, when you talk, be aware of your own facial expression. Yeah, I'm sure you have been in a situation whereby one look at that person enough to, <laughs> you know, to, what do you call it, to, to make you feel so scared. Mm -hmm. Afraid. Yeah, you, you fear a person's mm -hmm. facial expression. Mm -hmm. So, assertive communication is... Be aware of your own facial expression. It's, mm -hmm. it's okay to look straight. Mm -hmm. But you know what can put it better? A smile on your face. Mm -hmm. A smile is the cheapest thing way to improve your looks. I've uh, heard of that saying, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, um, you, you you be relaxed. Relax your facial expression. You you, you, do, you, do, you don't stare. Don't stare. Mm -hmm. and, and smile from the inside. When you smile from the inside, you will be reflected outside, and that's where you have a natural smile. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, first tip is watch out on your facial expression. So, when someone is talking to you, it's good. When they walk into your office, don't look like a stepmother, okay? Mm -hmm. when they, as they walk towards you, smile. Mm -hmm. Just like what I'm doing now with Fatin. Mm -hmm. Fatin has a lovely smile here. <laughs> Thank okay, you. number two, always maintain eye contact. Mm -hmm. So, when you talk, you, you don't stare, you, you look at them in the eye and, and you talk mm -hmm. at the social zone, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm social zone here mm -hmm. and next when you when you're talking to that person pay attention to what they are saying and mm -hmm. let them know that mm -hmm. you are listening mm -hmm. you can tell whether the other person is listening to you or not mm -hmm. yeah and if you've been in a situation bye bye the question has been asked so many times mm -hmm. and if answered then I say hey this is the third time you're asking me so that's when you know that the other person is practice selective practicing selective listening mm -hmm. so what can you do to, 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 to show the other person that you're listening? So you say, while talking, you say, mm, I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, is, it, is that so? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Means yeah. give uh, you response. Make the sound. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you make the sounds. Mm -hmm. mm, I see. Oh, is that so? Really? Oh, my God. You know? Oh, my God. That means that shows that you're listening. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that makes the other person say, hey, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel comfortable talking mm -hmm. to you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the other one, it's... Uh, 
Use a pleasant but firm voice when communicating. Mm-hmm. Not only your face must must look friendly, listeners. Mm-hmm. Your tone of voice. So use a pleasant but firm. Mm-hmm. This is what assertive is all about. Yeah, you're firm but still you're friendly. How is in your tone of voice? Mm-hmm. So it's nice if you to listen. Like if you watch movies, talk shows, listen to their tone. How do they talk? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yet, although they're firm, but it's nice to listen. It gets people to continue wanting to talk to them. So mm-hmm. maybe it's good for you to check with your partner. Mm-hmm. How does your voice? Or do you need to do a major overhauling of construction <laughs> to your voice? It's good maybe, to get, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe what stress, your intonation. Uh, this is all very important mm-hmm. where communication aspect is concerned. Okay. Mm-hmm. Be aware of your gestures and how you hold and present yourself. Mm-hmm. You're not going to talk. Hey, I want you to do your work today because I want to get done at. Who are you trying to hit? Why are you trying to hit? You mm-hmm. intimidate the person by by just doing this. Mm-hmm. So you just use your hand gesture, mm-hmm. but not by don't you don't overdo it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So your hand, your your gestures also. Now mm-hmm. the next one is always ask questions when clarification when clarify when clarifying uh, uh, is needed to avoid misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. Now sometimes words can be distorted. Mm-hmm. What you say and how I understand it can be different. Yeah. So a misunderstanding comes from. Yeah. So at any point of time when the other person is talking and you're listening and you don't you, you're not sure what the other person is saying, ask mm-hmm. questions. Mm-hmm. And the word here is paraphrase. Mm-hmm. Paraphrase means you repeat what the other person say using your own words mm-hmm. to check on your understanding. Mm-hmm. So you can say words like So what you're trying to say for thing is that next week you want me to talk about a new topic? Mm-hmm. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Is that so? Mm-hmm. That means you solicit a yes or a no answer. Mm-hmm. So if they say yes, yes, that means your understanding is correct. Mm-hmm. If they say no, that's not what I mean. Mm-hmm. Ah, there, that's a misunderstanding, misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. misinterpretation. Mm-hmm. So it's good for you to clarify. This mm-hmm. is what assertiveness is all about. Mm-hmm. You don't assume. Mm-hmm. You check for understanding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And lastly. Look for ways to solve the problem so all parties are satisfied. Mm-hmm. A problem is there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if if you cannot solve, mm-hmm. you get your staff to do. Mm-hmm. And if your staff cannot do it, hey, don't pass the baby, don't pass the bucket to her. Mm-hmm. Look at ways to. Uh, you don't delegate or abdicate. You mm-hmm. delegate, yes, but you don't mm-hmm. abdicate. Mm-hmm. So work together on solving the the the, the problem mm-hmm. to the best of your ability. Mm-hmm. That means we need. Working together here, yep. working together here, mm-hmm. yeah. Discussing, ah, yeah, mm-hmm. and and discussing mm-hmm. the whole situation. Mm-hmm. Okay, now one more thing about about, about assertiveness here is very good when you apply it, um, when you do your appraisal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you do your your, you know, end of the year the appraisal. Yep. You express your thoughts. Yeah. That's where you be. We have to be diplomatic. We have to be rational. Mm-hmm. Ah, that is being that's being assertive. Mm-hmm. And when you need to instill uh, discipline. You apply aggressive, but mm-hmm. aggressiveness can be done in a soft-spoken way, mm-hmm. in an assertive. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is another communication style, yeah? Mm-hmm. Assertively aggressive. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's no harm in being as, uh, aggressive. aggressive. So, so mm-hmm. listeners, it's good for you if you were to really look at yourself. Mm-hmm. You know the way you communicate. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe, and it does affect relationships with your co-workers. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's time for you to check. Mm-hmm. Why is it that? Some people behave differently towards you. Mm-hmm. When you know, is it in the way you talk? Mm-hmm. Probably that's that's the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, listeners, when you come back, mm-hmm. we're going to look at a few examples here yeah. to identify whether it's passive, aggressive, or assertive. assertive. And we're going to also look at a real life work work scenario mm-hmm. and see what's best to say in an assertive manner. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned. Stay tuned with I V D O U M. Like stick and listen with this song with life, playing with our wings on I Radio OEM, Rumi Cross Your Mind. Radio Oi, I'm roaming across your mind. Hope you enjoy uh, listening to that song. You're still with me, Patin, and also Zach here in this session. Yes, from, I'm still here, listeners. Mm, yes, from three uh, thirty pm until four thirty pm. And just now, uh, share you share with us about the tips on uh, assertive communication. Assertive, yeah. One uh, of the uh, tips yeah. uh, maintain the the eye contact. Maintain eye contact. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, you you should maintain eye contact, and that shows respect as well. And yeah? also ask a question for clarify. 
for the information yeah. from the others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ask ask questions to clarify. Mm -hmm. To clarify. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To clarify if you're mm -hmm. not sure. Mm -hmm. So that that makes the conversation two way. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. You talk, I listen. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, I ask. Mm -hmm. Then you listen. You don't understand, you ask. You know. <laughs> so <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. So it keeps the conversation on. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, moving on, listeners, mm -hmm. we're going to look at um, uh, three conversation here. You see, you you're about to see. The scenario is the same, but you'll see three different approaches. And you're going to identify which approach works best. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to read this 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 three uh, statements. Mm -hmm. And for each of these statements, uh, no, three scenarios. And for each scenario, they have three statements. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I will read the statement and the responses made. Yeah? So, then you have to indicate whether it's passive, whether it's aggressive, or whether it's assertive. Yeah. Okay, the first one. The scenario here is, you are calling Fairus. Yeah, you're calling Fairus, who has been late in his payment. Uh, late in his payment. Assuming you work in the in the collection, mm -hmm. you're expecting some kind of payment. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fairus has been late for his payments, and he is now three months overdue. Mm -hmm. Imagine that scenario. Mm -hmm. Something has to be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what the caller, uh, the the uh, Fairus is, is, is he has been called by by the calling uh, uh, agent mm -hmm. and one the first response here is okay let's hear from Fatin the first mm -hmm. one it's okay I'm only calling to find out why you cannot pay can you call me when you can pay us that's one response now the other response here is uh, Encik Abu uh, please understand the situation oh sorry it's Encik Farouz please understand the situation and, and let's work together on solving this issue your account is now three months overdue we need you to make some payments today or we have no choice but to call your wife for the money. You do not want us to do that. Am, am I right, Jifairus? Mm -hmm. So that's one. And the, the third one, Fairu, uh, 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 Fatih? You are a real problem. I don't care. I don't want to hear your problem. Pay us now or else. The scenario here is Fairus cannot pay mm -hmm. and his account is three months due. So can you see the different type of, of response? Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one. It's what kind of response, Fatin? It's okay, I'm calling to find out why you cannot pay. Can you call me when you can pay? Forever, you cannot get your payment. So this is a? <laughs> passive. Definitely, this is a passive one. The next one is quite long, mm -hmm. but but look at the humility, the, 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 diplomat, the, the diplomacy, mm -hmm. the choice of words. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely, it's an assertive response, assertive right? Response. The second one. And the mm -hmm. last one? You are a real problem. Don't tell me I've really got a problem. Don't tell me that I'm a real problem. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want to hear your problem. Mm -hmm. Pay us now or else. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> this is a true example of an aggressive. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm -hmm. can you see that example now, listeners? Same scenario, three different type of response. Mm -hmm. My question here is, can you choose the response? Mm -hmm. Can you choose the response? We can. We can choose we can't choose. Okay, mm -hmm. the second one. The second one. Um, Anita has persistent, persistently, that means continuously, been making careless mistakes and you want her to correct them. Okay, this is when your staff, for example, has been making errors upon errors who don't check their work before they send it to you. So as a boss, let's see how this is communicated. Okay, come Fatin, the first response. I'd like you to do this again because there are a number of errors that needs to be corrected. Okay. Next one. Why did you give this to me without checking? There are far too many mistakes, Anita. Check it back and make sure there's no mistakes again. Wow. Okay. And the last one. It's probably my fault for not making it clear. But if it's not too much trouble, is there any chance that you could make one or two changes? Okay. Fatin, if you are the staff, which response do you think suits you well? and will make you feel guilty and you do not want to do it over again. The Which second, sounds second statement. Second statement? Mm -hmm. Second statement, mm -hmm. second statement mm -hmm. that works well for you. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I'm going to say in this case, you mm -hmm. see that the scenario, the word that you use is the same, but the way you put it through, your voice. If I were to say, why did you give me, why did you give it to me without checking, Fatih? There are far too many mistakes. Now take it back and make sure no mistakes again. This is uh, the aggressive. This is aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you can change it into an, an, an assertive tone, mm -hmm. Fatin, um, 
I just don't understand, you know. Uh, did you check your, your work before passing it to me? As you can see, there's so, there's so many mistakes here. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I would like you to take it back. I would like you to take it back. This one, take it back. Mm -hmm. I would like you to take it back. And please, please check your work. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, a lot of time has been wasted here. Mm -hmm. It's still sound. It's still sound assertive, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Okay, the last one. Um, can, can you read that, Fatim? It's now 1 p.m. You sacrifice no, your No, no, no. Oh. See, see. It's probably... Oh, it's probably my fault not making it clear. But if it's not too much trouble, is there any chance that you could make one or two changes? Yeah. Sometimes bosses also make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Even pencil also got your razor, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's, it's probably my, my fault, Fatin, for not making it clear. Mm -hmm. But if it's too much or too trouble, you see? You still be humble. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If it's not too much trouble, is there any chance that you can do this again? Mm -hmm. You see? So, I, I, I would say, I would... Be more comfortable with the last and not, last response. This is a certain. Listeners, you 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 agree to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the last one. This is very common. Okay. It's now 1 p.m. You sacrifice your lunch as you have a report to finish by 2 p.m. Sarat, your colleague, asks you up for lunch at your favorite restaurant. I'm sure this happened. You know the invitation come at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. All right. And the first one. First respond. Don't disturb me. I got no time. Just go and let me finish my work. Yeah, don't disturb me. So mm -hmm. this is a typical aggressive. aggressive. Don't disturb me. Can't you see you blind or something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first one. The next one. Mm -hmm. Actually, ha, huh, I got I got to finish this first. But never mind, law. Since you are buying, ah, uh, since you are buying, it means free food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but since you are buying, you are paying. Mm -hmm. Let me get my purse. You see, free food somehow it tastes better. <laughs> Since you are buying them, I like go work, work, work aside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't want to hurt my friends' feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one, sounds good, but then, but not today, okay? Sounds good, wow, but, but not, not today, today okay? okay? Boss needs this urgent report by two. Thanks anyway. I take a rain check. Mm -hmm. Ah, that means you're being open. No means no. Mm -hmm. Although it's nice to go, nice to do, but mm -hmm. there are other other things to do. Mm -hmm. So I hope from these exercises. Uh, listeners, you, you you can see, you can choose the way you respond, mm -hmm. and ideally, it's assertive communication style that mm -hmm. works mm -hmm. when communicating works assignment, or if you want to get things done. Okay, okay Zach, I hope to see you again uh, in next week with interesting topic. Okay, okay, interesting topic. Yeah? <laughs> okay. See you then. Um, next week, we will come with a different topic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure my Chinese listeners, you're busy preparing for your Chinese year. Chinese year. Gong hei fa choi. Watch the waistline and be safe on the road. See you next week. Bye-bye. Okay, Zed. Thank you very much for uh, still uh, with us uh, for this week. Okay, uh, listeners. Uh, see you next week. Bye. Assalamualaikum.